if you're having the issues of there was a problem network connection lost here is the video and i will show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem the first and foremost step which you need to do is you have to close your background apps which you don't require for example some players prefer having discord while playing fortnite and discord does consumes a little bit of the bandwidth and moreover a, a bit of the cpu as well so if you're facing the issue try closing discord and then trying the game see if that helps so close as many background apps as possible which are not required while playing Fortnite and then try the game, see if that helps. The next step which you're gonna do is we will open our Epic Games Launcher as you can see right in front and over here first and foremost I will click on my account which is here and I will go to the settings tab which is right over here, click on settings and it will scroll down and you will see the word Fortnite coming up over here. If you have other games installed as well. So th those games will also come, but you just have to concentrate on Fortnite. You just have to click on this small little tilted triangle over here and you have to choose additional command line arguments. Just tick this and over here you have to paste this particular command, which you can see right now. I will zoom it if you want. You just have to type this command without any spaces, everything small. Restart your Epic Games Launcher, then try the game. See if that helps. The next step which you need to do is to go ahead to your browser and simply download a software. The software name is called as Malwarebytes. Once you download it, simply install and then once you open the application, it will look something like this. Here, even though you're using the free version, you simply need to click on that scan button. It will scan your entire PC and it will fi find potential uh, bugs or like maybe viruses or something like that. And once you have found all the viruses, you can delete all those from the software itself. And once you have deleted it, then try your game. I'm pretty sure it will work perfectly fine. The next step, what you need to do is, if you're having any kind of VPN service in your computer, completely uninstall that. If you're not using the VPN while playing the game, even if there may be a possibility that some of the background things of the VPN may be running behind your PC and you are not aware about that. So make sure that if you have even a free VPN, simply uninstall that VPN and then try the game, see if that helps. The next step what you're gonna do is, since the problem is related to a network, we will manually change our DNS server. For this, what you need to do is, first and foremost, you have to go to the corner of a screen and on the network, you have to right click and click on open network and internet settings. Over here, you have to click on change adapter options and this window will come up. From here, you have to choose whichever network you're using. I'm currently using Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna choose it. Right click, go to properties. And over here, this small window, here you have to choose internet protocol version four, TCP slash IP version four. Go to properties and here set that obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to tick the bottom one, which is use the following DNS server address. And I will recommend you using the Google DNS server, which is 8888-8844. This is Google's public DNS server. If you want a better one, which is even more stable than that, you can use that also, which is the Cloudflare DNS server, which is 11111001. So you just need to press OK and then restart your computer and see if that fixes your problem. So that was a video quite plain and simple. And if this video helped you, please don't forget the like button. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.